Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your general readings for December. Um, just trying to see where the energies are. So anything can come through in these readings. It could be love. It could be career. It could be relationships. It could be money. Anything can come in during this time, okay? Um, just, just a little bit about this reading. Um, you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign, okay? Um, keep in mind that the energies will flip-flop, so if it doesn't relate to you, it could very well relate to your partner. Hello to our cross-watchers. And keep in mind that you can pick up on an energy that's surrounding you as well. Well. So always keep that in mind that you could very well be picking up the energy of a relative or a best friend or somebody who's living in a household with you. You guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for the love and support that you continue to give to the channel. Please, please, please give us a thumbs up. It helps push those readings out a little further. And also subscribe to the channel. You guys, we have some good things coming up for 2021. You do not want to miss that, okay? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right next to it is a little bell. Hit that bell and every time I release a reading, you will be notified. Don't forget that we have a Patreon. We got some good stuff going on over there. The link to the Patreon is below. Just click on it just so you can get an idea what's happening. And we do do private readings, okay? So information pertaining to the private readings can be found below as well. Keep in mind that there's no time limit on this reading, okay? So it could have been something that happened months ago. It could be something that's going on right now. It could be something that's coming in in the near future. So always keep that in mind. Now, on to your reading. Hello, my Sagittarius. Okay, you guys, let's get right into your reading. Keep in mind that anything can come through, okay? Um, it could be about relationship. It could be about your career. It could be about finances. It could be about your home life. I mean, it could be about a court case. Literally anything can come through for this general reading. Don't forget you can join our Patreon as well because we put a lot of great information over there, you guys. You do not want to miss that. All right, and with the private readings too, information pertaining to that can be found below. So let's get right into it, okay? Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, Universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to the general reading for December 2020? What messages need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to do now? What does Sagittarius need to do now? Okay. for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to the general reading for December 2020. I just need to go forth for the sign of Sagittarius. The Sagittarius need to go The universe messages need to go for the sign of Sagittarius as it relates to the general reading for December 2020. What messages need to go for for the sign of Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? Okay, and then messages for Sagittarius. these down. We're going to bring this over because I'm going to do some clarifying um, in just a second. And so uh, we'll see what's going on. All right, we are ready. First message out. All right, main mail. Main mail. So I already we know that there is a mail that is very um, significant um, in this reading. It's actually number one. Okay, so uh, this person is very, very significant in what is going on here. Um, um, I'm trying to think what I'm feeling from this. Hmm. 
this is kind of describing where you are right now uh, with this main person, main man in your life. Um, it describes what, what you're desiring right now, that main um, thing that you're looking to um, integrate in yourself or in your partner uh, without being selfish, okay? Um, this is someone who possibly has confidence, who's possibly direct, possibly very open, okay? Um, in a read, in this reading, I'm feeling like this main man is possibly the main, main person in a woman's life right now, okay? So if you are watching this, if you are male and you're watching this, this could be someone that, if you're thinking it's a third party situation, this could be in reference to that, could be in reference to a father figure. But some, whoever the main male is in your life right now, that's who that's referring to. Okay? Ooh. All right. So somebody's moving on. This main male is moving on. Okay? Either you're moving on from this main male or this main male is moving on. Okay? Yeah. They're discontent and bored with where their life is right now. This main male... They're bored with what their life is right now. And so they're moving on to just try to find um, other things in life. Things uh, things that's going to spark them. Okay? And they're aware. They're becoming spiritually aware of, you know, what's happening in life. This main male is becoming specifically aware, aware of what's happening with them spiritually. See? See how this is illuminating? It's right over the brain. Their mind is being open to other journeys, other areas in their life. So they're not discontent and bored with where their life is right now. So they're moving on. I'm starting to feel like this may not mean that they're just they're moving on from a relationship. I just feel like wherever their life is right now, and it could be that they're moving on from a person um, that they're discontent, they're, they're discontent and bored with. But I feel like it's where their life is right now. That they they just they're not happy with where their life is. They're not happy with where their job is, where their career is gone, where their environment is. They may want another environment. They're just not they're just not happy. See, and they're taking action. They're ta taking action. So they could be doing something right now, Sagittarius. So this could be you. It could be doing something right now where you're taking action, where you're moving away from. Uh, the norm then you're moving away from what you've been doing you're moving away from possibly a group of people or a person you're moving on from possibly your environment right now possibly you're doing different things yeah see action adventures and this is this is you Sagittarius I mean this is like a perfect reading for you because you're the most adventurous sign okay you're the one that's going if you get bored you're going you're going to go I mean you're the you're the man and the hunter Makes sense to me. But it could be very, very uncomfortable for someone if you're in a relationship. They may not understand this. Yeah, they may not understand what's going on with this. All right, so let's just start clarifying so we can get more information. Um, this somebody being discontent and bored. I mean, that's just... I mean, the reading is kind of like just so specific here. Sometimes it just, it's just unbelievable to me how specific it becomes. All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe, please clarify main male. What do we need to know about main male? What do we need to know about main male? Please clarify main male. clarified by the four of pentacles the four of cups and the king of cups okay and you definitely have an angel number coming through you have a four here and two fours right here so make sure you look up angel number four 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 all right so with this main male they're blocked their heart is blocked right now they're not receiving anything they're contemplating where their life is right now 
Uh, with this King of Cups, this is the energy I feel like that they really want to be in. And if they're fighting their way, <clears throat> trying to get back into this King of Cups energy. With the King of Cups, this is somebody who's, you know, in control of their emotions. Um, very, a person that's very, very supportive. Um, or they could possibly be wanting someone who's very, very supportive, very, very empathetic to what they're, what's happening to them right now. Um, this could be what they're seeking out, that they're looking for that love, that support, uh, to just accept what state that they're in right now. Okay, because right now their heart is really, really blocked. And they're just, they're just sitting, just trying to think about, you know, where is my life? What do I need to be doing? Yeah. Could be done with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. A lot of emotions coming through on that card with those cups. Bottom of the deck, Five of Swords. Possibly they, from this behavior, they may have come off as if they, as if they were abusing a relationship, or they could have literally been abusing a relationship. This is theft. Uh, this is abuse. This is dece deceit. Okay. And maybe this is what is causing this main male to be blocked, okay? Maybe they have done this or it was done to them. But this is how it's coming off, that they're abusing a relationship. And again, five of swords, I mean, this is bullying someone. This is theft. This is um, um, gosh. But the five of swords, this is I'm trying to think what I'm, I'm picking up. It's not so much, I'm not picking up abuse as far as physical abuse, but just more so mental abuse um, in this relationship. Um, just trying to win at all costs, you know, and not, and not and trying to win, but not so concerned about how others are feeling, how you're treating others, because it's like, I'm going to get what I want and I don't care how I'm treating other people. And that's how, it's, that's how it's coming forth. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy is coming across like you really don't care. But at this point, you're moving on because you're you're in search of some, something. And if it means that you have to hurt feelings, then you're willing to do that right now. Please clarify moving on for Sagittarius. Sagittarius need to know about moving on. Please clarify moving on for Sagittarius. The Sagittarius need to know about moving on. Ooh. A lot of nervous energy. A lot of nervous energy with this. Please clarify moving on with the Sagittarius. Yeah, things aren't you're trying to move on, but you're out of control. Your life is out of control. And you're trying to get in control of your life, but it's it's not working. It's not working. This is could be bad luck too, you know, coming your way. But things are out of control right now, and you're trying to cling to control, but it's not working. Will it represents fire energy, bottom of the deck. Yeah, an empress could be, um, Taurus, Libra could be involved with this, but this is a, a somebody who is definitely out of their character right now. Uh, could possibly smothering you or kind of jealous because they're not really understanding what's happening and this is how they're feeling, okay? They're feeling very jealous. They they're, they may feel like they're smothering you because they're trying to figure out what is wrong. What have I done? And this person may not have done anything. It's just that where your life is right now, you're just very discontent and bored with life. And you're trying your hardest to come aware of what's wrong with me. You know, why am I feeling like this? That Empress is Taurus Libra energy. Discontent and boredom. Please clarify discontent and boredom for Sagittarius. Yeah, you're standing your ground until you can try to figure this thing out with this uh, Seven of Wands. You're just you're you're trying to figure it out, but right now you're very very protective of yourself. You're very very protective of your energy. Um, you're, you're very persistent. You're taking defense at everything. You're just trying to maintain control. That control keeps coming through. Just trying to maintain control of your life. But it's coming across kind of harsh. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy right there. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, page of wands in reverse. You're, you're not committing to anyone right now. Um, you're not going to commit to anything, anyone. Because you have a lack of direction. This is you. 
it's just conflict around you right now. This is you procrastinating too, not really taking any action. That's why spirit says you need to take action. You know, this adventure that you're trying to go on or trying to seek, you're trying to get a hold of it, but all that maybe need to just go on in your mind. That all of that is going on in your mind right now because you really just don't know how to come out of the state of discontentment, how to come out of the state of being bored. Okay, page of wands in reverse. That's Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, energy, awareness. awareness. I feel like if you're in a relationship with the Sag, if you're a cross watcher, it may be coming off like they don't really care about what's happening with you right now, but they're just in a state right now. They're just trying to figure it out. Please clarify awareness for Sagittarius. Okay, we got a lot going on here. All right, awareness is clarified by the fool, the queen of swords in reverse. There it is. Five of pentacles in reverse. King of swords in reverse. That's the power couple right there. Both of them are discontent right now, though. That's the couple right there, but it's a soul relationship. Yeah, chariot in reverse. I should have known. Page of cups. All right, so with this awareness, a lot is coming through here because all of this is in your mind, okay? You're wanting this new beginning. But with this Queen of Swords in reverse, this is this is someone that possibly is around you, or this is somebody who is seeking truth, but they're very, very angry right now. Um, they're being very, very cold, very, very bitter because they're not really understanding what is happening with you. And so with this Five of Pentacles, I feel like somebody's just trying to recover from this state. They're trying to recover from feeling like they're out, they're being you know, put out in the cold. They're all by themselves. And that's bringing forth this King of Swords in reverse, which is somebody who is out of control emotionally, who's very callous, who's coming across, like I said earlier, like they really don't care. It's not that they really don't care. They really don't understand what the heck is going on with them. And that's why they're not taking action with this seven, of, uh, I mean, with this uh, chariot in reverse. And that's why Spirit is saying, I need you to take action and figure this thing out. I need you to go on an adventure, even if it's just in your mind, to figure out where your life purpose is, what you're supposed to be doing. Because this page of cups here, this represents somebody who's dreaming or who's also very, very sensitive. Or this also could represent new love, but I feel like it's not so much romantic. It's just that I'm trying to dream. I'm trying to um, understand where I am right now. I'm trying to understand where my life needs to go. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy, swords here, all in your mind. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy as well. Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be dealing with a cancer that's coming through. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio again. But with this couple here and both being in reverse, both both are upset. Both are both are, are upset right now because they don't understand. It's mental. It's a mental thing. They don't understand what's going on because this is where somebody is. They're wanting to move on because they're discontent and bored, but I really feel like it doesn't have anything to do with the person specific. It's just the state of wherever, the mental state of this person right here, this main, this main male, the mental state is not good right now. It's not good. Bottom of the deck, yeah, ten of pentacles in reverse. It's causing a hardship within the home. Somebody's money could be messed up as well. I feel like this is affecting um, money of, to, of someone. But definitely a discontentment within a family or definitely a relationship, security, lack of resources, not having what you need right now. It's just a lot going on with somebody. Somebody is like struggling mentally. This is a serious mental struggle that's happening. Let's get the final message for Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe. What, what's the final message for Sagittarius? What's the final message for Sagittarius? Final message for Sagittarius. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Eights are coming through for you as well. So make sure you look up 888. You got the Eight of Pentacles. The Seven of Wands has come back again. Here it is here. So you got two Seven of Wands. Eight of Cups in reverse and the Devil. Okay, so this is Spirit saying you need to really just continue to focus on you. Let's focus on you. You're very defensive right now. I mean, you got the seven of wands that have come back twice. Very, very defensive about in, in a protect mode because you know that you're really, you're off balance. You know you really don't have it together right now, but you don't want to come off like that. And that's why you're coming off like this. You're very guarded, okay? Uh, with the eight of cups in reverse, 
this is um with the eight of cups first of all the eight of cups in the upright is is moving you know trying to move on from something but this being in reverse this is you trying to avoid something you're trying to avoid this major change that you need to need to make and for some reason you're not making it because i feel like you're being tempted okay with the devil showing up here you're being tempted to go in a wrong direction and this is where the mental conflict is coming in that's where the mental conflict because you're being tempted to do things and, and make choices that's not wise for you and that's where the conflict is coming in because you need to take action and doing the right thing you're being tempted in the wrong direction okay and it's, it's really conflicting for you yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, energy is coming through. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Capricorn is coming through very clearly here. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, you need to follow your heart. Knight of Cups. Really, really follow your heart, but really, really allow spirit to guide you. Right? You need to be spiritually guided and following your heart to do the right thing. Don't follow your heart and you're thinking wrong because it's really going to mess you up. All right, my loves, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye.